Nigerians continue to leave the shores of the country en masse. In search of greener pastures, findings have revealed that most Nigerians who flee the country risk in their life attribute it to economic hardship. Several other reasons for the migration include search for better education and security and the quest for higher income, career advancement, job opportunities, among others. It's no bad at the bad at the wall at his luck away. Yes, ma, it's not that easy, but we thank God that we are here. It's like a hell there. It's not easy for us outside Nigeria. We are treated like, a, like, like mad people. You know how they treat mad people on the streets. It's not easy at all. It's giving many of us diabetes. Many have hypertension. Many have uh, brain dead. Many have mad. Many have uh, stroke because of depression. Millions of Nigerians have migrated to several countries in search of greener pastures, such as Europe, America, Asia, and even African countries, while the latter percentage of legal travelers who traveled absconded after the expiration of their visas. This year, a total of 3,000 returnees were received back in the countries over the period of two months. Within the period of two months now, we have received now over 3,000 Nigerians. The focus is not just on Saudi Arabia. We also just two weeks ago received the uh, IOM facilitated returnees from Libya. We had 170 of them that came in two batches. And then we also received returnees from other places. In March from Libya, we put out 117. And right now, with the recent People coming back, we've been able to and they've all been captured. The returnees lamented over the hardship they faced in the country while blaming their quest for migration to foreign countries on poor leadership qualities. They are not doing anything to address the plight of the masses, most especially the poor people. The persistent social economy challenges make, makes us to travel across the shore of our land for greener pasture, but... We are begging those in leadership position to please promote job opportunities for the youth in the country. Our leaders should fear God and help the people in the country so that we won't travel to foreign lands in search of greener pastures. Nigeria, because I left Nigeria because of the hardship bedeviling the nation. It is imperative for leaders in the country to wake up to the call by the Nigerian youths for a prosperous nation, mostly those who bear the brutal journey of our desert and seas in order to make life worth living. Phoebe Gray,